Now, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Let's now tell you what happened this day in history on March 18th in 2018. On this day, Valdemar Putin is elected to a six, a new six-year term as a president of Russia. He scored or secured 76% of the vote uh, you know, for this term. And his fourth inauguration took place on Monday in May, on May 7th, 2018. And it marks the commencement of the new six-year term of Vladimir Putin as the president of Russia. Now, this presidential election uh, held on 18th uh, March 2018. There were eight candidates who participated in the election, and he had been elected in uh, 2012 and was eligible to run again. He had made comments, you know, that uh, didn't give people a clear view of if he was going to step down from the post as president, uh, but he chose to run as an independent. And uh, that inauguration uh, used a publicly, they publicly presented at first time, uh, the new Russian made uh, Os Orus Senat limousine instead of the current Mercedes-Benz 600 guard Pullman that was used at that time. He delivered a 12-minute inaugural speech address of 1,246 words. Now, this speech was the longest in history, and the previous record was the inaugural speech of Boris Yeltsin in the year 1991. Putin had spoken about tasks that needed to be solved and uh, what he was going to do for the Russian population for decades to come. Basically, he was highly favored by the Russian people uh, for his what they described as his muscular foreign policy. So this day in history, Vladimir Putin was elected to a new six-year term as president of Russia. Um, he, he, you know, of course, like you just mentioned, you know, his foreign policy, I, I think that is one of the things that makes Vladimir Putin one of the most um, uh, respected and uh, feared leaders in the world. Um, yeah, and of course, also respected by his own people, you know, because, you know, he, he has shown, you know, by his actions and by his words and by, you know, what we always call body language, that he's all about the Russian people and um, the greatness of, you know, Russia as a, as a nation. Okay. Um, he's an ex-KGB, no, not KGB now, he's um, an ex, you know, well, one of those security um, agencies. Um, and um, he, of course, um, you know, became also very, very popular once again during Donald Trump's um, uh -huh. time in the White House because of the allegations of Russian interference in the United States elections. And so, you know, before the elections and after the elections, before and after Donald Trump, he's always been there. A lot of people don't remember Russia, you know, without Vladimir Putin. Um, he's always, you know, been, you know, in, in, in that political space and in that environment. You know, you know, if you go a little further, yes, I remember the era of Boris Yeltsin. Um, and of course, next to you know was um, uh, Vladimir Putin. Um, he's also been criticised, you know, because of his uh, the way that his government has allegedly been um, towards um, in opposition. Um, if you remember the um, guy who are now Alexei Navalny, yeah. you know, who of course has struggled for his life for a bit. Um, there were allegations that it was uh, Vladimir Putin's government who poisoned him. And it's not the first one, you know, there's other people who have also, you know, suffered the uh, same. He also was criticized, um, you know, with the uh, Crimea, you know, incident a couple of years ago, uh, where um, the, the, the place was annexed by Russia. Um, but Vladimir Putin, definitely one of the most um, revered uh, leaders in the world. Now, in sports, and this one I'm excited to talk about, I'm going to be speaking about one of the world's greatest sportsmen. He is one name that for generations to come, um, a lot of people would always remember. He is also one of the most popular names in the world, and it is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, started at Sporting CP and, of course, moved to Manchester United. Hit his peak at Real Madrid, of course, with the number of goals that he was able to score there. So I'm just going to quickly rush through this one. But Ronaldo has won five Ballon d'Or um, awards and won four European Golden Shoes. He has won 31 major trophies in his career, including seven league titles, five UEFA Champions League, one UEFA, UEFA European Championship, and one UEFA Nations League uh, title. He holds the records for the most goals, 134, and assists, uh, 42, in the history of the UEFA Champions League. He's also one of the few recorded players uh, that has scored or uh, made over 1,000 professional career appearances and has scored a record 770 senior career goals and counting for club and country. He's also the second male to score 100 international goals and the first European one to achieve the feat. Um, he really is, you know, 
uh, one of those people that you would never be able to rule out of um, sports relevance ever, you know, in history. Um, it was on this day in 2018 that he scored his 50th career hat trick um, for Real Madrid. He, of course, um, over time has now scored about 56 hat tricks in his career. But on this day, he made it 50 for Real Madrid in their game against uh, Girona, which uh, Real Madrid won six goals to three. Um, if, it, if you talk about goals, he, of course, has, has continued to break records, has continued to add to his tally more than 700 goals. Um, of course, uh, he, is, um, um, he has scored in the time that he, you know, he has been playing football and doesn't seem tired, currently plays for Juventus and you know, has not had as much success as he had during um, his time at Real Madrid, but still is and will forever be my greatest of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> That's all we have for you. Today in history, 2018, Cristiano Ronaldo scored his 50th career hat-trick, uh, of course, while playing for Real Madrid. Yes, that's what we have for you in today in history, and we'll be right back after the short break.